You know the old joke about how do you eat an elephant? Well, one bite at a time. This is Istanbul, Turkey. It's a big elephant. It's wide, it's deep, it's, it's going to take a lot of bites. Hi, I'm Rick, and welcome back to The Journey. Yep, we are in Istanbul, Turkey. Hello, puppy. Got little animals here all over the place. Anyway, hope you can hear me over the call to prayer. We've never been here before. We've been here precisely one day. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we're going. Nikki's got most of the day planned out. Everything we're gonna experience is, well, new. Completely new for both you and me. So anything that goes wrong, I apologize now. I guess I should make a lot of apologies because I have a feeling a lot's not gonna go to plan, whatever the hell that is. Well, here's the thing, just getting around this part of town, and don't ask me, I have no idea what part of town we're in. Oh my God, it's crowded. It's, the death taxi we took to get up here was unbelievable. Anyway, today we got plans. Today, I don't know how to describe it. We're gonna go see a sister, and we're gonna go see religious things. We're gonna get food. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna be doing a whole lot. I think, if we can get out of this crowd. Special Turkish pancake. So many choices. We have to look at the food. Cozy? Ah. <laughs> Big <simple> problems. <laughs> All right, I'm on a crack. Hang on. Oh, I'm still on a crack. Put your extend your legs. I'm just gonna be. <laughs> what are you getting? Oh, copycat. <laughs> I had a comment in a past video. Ow, that's freaking hot. <laughs> they said, oh, when you go to Turkey, no beer, only tea. Well, tea. They do have beer. I found beer yesterday. It's not as ubiquitous as tea. So... When in Turkey, do as the Turkians, Turkians. My finger is really being burnt right now. Give me a sec. All right, it looks stupid, but it's less burny. Mm. Oh, got a little bonus piece of something. Yum. I don't, I don't even know where to begin with this. Oh, there's a pepper in there. Yeah. Oh, we have more. We have sauce. Question is, do I make you watch me eat the whole thing? Is that, is that yours or mine? I don't know. Because you have extra hot. Well, I just, I don't think he heard me. I think that's just ours. Our sauces. Terribly exciting content, I know. Where do you start? Oh, is it already kind of pre? Yeah, it's really soft, like it's Ooh. very well marinated. Seriously tender, can you see that? Uh, Okay, the thing that surprised me about Turkish food from yesterday, I didn't know it was hot, like spicy hot. It's, they have some seriously spicy hot things here. I don't know, just, oh my God, oh. A, that's hot, B, that's really good. Oh, seriously, I didn't know they did spicy food. This stuff, oh, uh, shit, I just spilled it on the table. Oh my God, so good, so, so good. Yeah. Oh, we have so entered Tourist Central over here. I don't think this is it, but it's close to it. What is it you ask? Well, you ever watch the Da Vinci Code? You ever see that scene where they were down in the cisterns having the big fight, the underground water thing that's where we're heading kind of there's a 
a little bit of a technicality that, well, once we get inside. Oh, this is going to be hard to see. If you'll hark back to the movie, oops, a lot of beeps going on. They had a big, I think, concert here. Uh, and this is where they put all the um, whatever it was in the water. This was built by some sultan because he wanted his own private water. Oh, I see. It's a chairlift. Oh, and it's so dark in here, but I hope you can see this is pretty darn neat. I'll explain later why this isn't what you think it is. Oh, there's no way the GoPro is going to pick this place up. It is so large and impressive. Okay, why did you not see the Basilica Cistern in the Da Vinci Code? Because they didn't want to damage it. According to the interwebs, and of course it has to be true because it's online, they rebuilt this exactly, at least parts of it, for the movie where they had all the action scenes. And I think they did it in Budapest, Bucharest, one of the two places. But because they wanted to protect and not damage this, I think they filmed some scenes in here, some of the like doing what we're doing scenes. But the, oh my lord, look at all that. But definitely the action scenes were filled in the replica. So, how far does this thing keep going? It's, you, you have no idea the perspective because of the camera. It is, Nikki just said, Oh, I think they had enough space for water down here. Remember, this was for the Sultan and his people. They had other aqueducts for the city. This was for them. So yeah, I think, I think they were doing okay in a drought. It's, uh, especially if they had the ability to fill this thing up. Holy moly. It's funny, we were standing in line and thinking, oh my God, there's just so many people here. We're never gonna be able to get in. I didn't realize just how big this place was. Yeah, I think there's, there's room for all of us down here. And then some. Which way, baby? Shall we take the path less taken? Oops, spoke too soon. Down the crowds. Oh, I see. It's a... Well, my camera's not going to let it happen, but it's a head sitting on its side. Oh, it's funky, and this one's completely upside down. Again, no feet. Just a big old head. Everybody's waiting for something. I'm not entirely sure what. Something happening over there. Nope, can't see it. Nothing to see here, I guess. Oh, there's a Nikki. Fun thing is, I keep getting dripped on. There's lots. I don't know where the water's coming from, but it pelts you in the head nonstop. Oh, we're getting near the end. The temperature down here, it's not warm, it's not cool, but it is so wet and moist that it kind of makes you sweat. I don't know what's going to be worse, going back out into the heat or hanging down here in those Salton's aqueducts. Oh well, $45 a side, I guess we do. Ow! Just got hit in the head with the water drops. I guess we have to leave at some point, unless we make another lap. Back into tourist hell. Aha! I think we're going to try to see what's inside this gigantic mosque. I don't know what it is. So what do I think of Istanbul? We have been here precisely one day and a half. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's such a unique, deeply cultured... I like it. Don't get me wrong. I am having so much fun and so much enjoyment being here, but... 
Oh, it's unlike most things I've been before. It's or it's in a mass of everything that I've seen before. It's it is unique. And not just this touristy crowded park, but all the smaller parts we've been in the past day and a half. Oh, I cannot wait to discover this and share it with you. Oops, Nikki just informed me what this is. This is the biggest tourist attraction in Turkey. The Hagia Sophia, I know I mispronounced that wrong. Uh, then cross the main entrance to the palace. Kind of have to do this one. This feels like a must do. Oh, it's a shame I can't show you much. Everything is under restoration. Nor can I tell you about it because I didn't even know this was here or what it's about. Aren't I just a great tour guide? Well, I got to apologize deeply. Uh, video photography was not allowed in there. And while sometimes I do break the rules, I felt like it was disrespectful. This is a, a big holy place of worship for a lot of Muslims. Very important place for the citizens of Turkey. And I don't want to. I'll follow the rules this time. Phew. All right, Nikki is trying to find our way to the museum, you know, two for the price of one tickets. I didn't take a lot of video in there, like I said, to be respectful. But at the same time, it was, I've never been in a mosque before and it was very unusual. If you go to a cathedral, and by the way, if you have any really vested interest in what I'm about to say, this is my opinion only. So it's my opinion only. It's not ornate. You go to a cathedral and it's, it's like, how much money can we spend plastering all over the walls to show whatever it is we're trying to show? And here, things were simple. I mean, it was beautiful. It was very, very beautiful, but it was simple. It was like the place was meant for its purpose, not to show how wonderful and great and powerful and rich. It was different. I'm not quite sure what that means. Honestly, that was the absolute best museum presentation I've ever seen. I am sorry that you didn't get to see it. It's very interactive. I'm pretty sure it was the voice of Anthony Hopkins telling us everything we needed to know. If you do come here, do the museum first and then go over to Hagia Sophia. I will, when I can raise my voice a little louder, I will tell you all about that. Well, we have one last exhibit in the museum. Apparently, every museum should come with a kitty cat. Okay, again, if you come here, you have to do the museum first. I I can't even possibly tell you what I just learned in there. I, it's not just Christians, Muslims, though it's an old building. It has been there. It's amazing. It's incredible. It is a hugely well-polished, perfectly presented. I loved it. Go to the museum first, then go over to <laughs> the building it is wow everywhere you look here you know that elephant i was trying to eat i'm about halfway up the tail i think there's so much more hey i know i am taking you guys through terrorist trap central you know come to istanbul see all the big sites but honestly this city is incredible it is so diverse deep big i don't even it's a good thing we're here for two weeks because we're barely scratching the surface. And whoop, red lights. Looks like, yep, something's coming to try to run us over. But this city is, two weeks are not going to be enough. Honestly, it is the history here, everything. I, I am amazed. I'm going to be really tired because I'm not going to sleep. I am going to eat this damn elephant. Okay, somewhere in here, I don't think this is it quite yet, we're heading for the Grand Bazaar. Okay, let the shopping begin. I want tea, I need something. But first, we need to hydrate, and unfortunately, 
going to LA, California, and Vegas, baby. Ah, uh, there you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> What's happening to Vegas? Vegas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, what I need is viewers. Oh, the hawkers are strong in this place. This is going to be interesting. Well, pick a direction. Any direction. I don't even know where to begin in here. We found the crowds. Apparently we're in Bling Central. This is all jewelry. Jewelry. Oh, candy. Going back to jewelry. Handbags. Wow. I was not expecting. <laughs> yeah, this could be a while. Now, we actually came in with some very specific purchase items, but uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to find it in all of this. It's... Wow. It is... Yeah. I mean, literally, we came in here for a pot and a pan because our apartment didn't come with one. I'm not seeing pots and pans. Oh my God. It's like a mile in that direction too. Everywhere you go, it's, I'm already turned around. I think this is one of those places that you can't leave. Once you're in here, you just have to subsist on Turkish delight and fake Rolex watches. I don't know where we are. I don't think it's possible to know where we are. Not everything is tchotchkes. I mean, there's some actual, looks like artisans in here. Very few. Most of it's, at least this section. I don't think anybody made that in this shop. Oh, we have another, I guess we're going this way. Oh, we found the outdoor version. I'm here, I'm here, bro. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my lord, it's a, uh, it's an absolute madhouse. People keep trying to hand you things. I'm not saying there's illegal activity here or anybody's going to do something nefarious, but there's this many people, so many folks walking up trying to haggle you, sell you, push you. You keep your hand on your wallet. At least I do. I hate to be that way, but oh my god, this place is packed. I mean, literally, some kid, like 14 years old, just walked up with a hand vibrator and stuck it on my back. They're just trying to sell it to me. I don't know where we came in or where we went out, but every human in the world is in this square. We all got a place to go. Every YouTuber we've ever seen has said, don't go shopping in there. Besides the prices being outrageous, it's, it's almost impossible to shop in there. So we're going to do the next to impossible. Walk around the outskirts of the bazaar. Try to find, looking for some clothing. We're looking for the aforementioned pot. I, I need a merge to put my stuff into. And oops, Nikki just got ran over. I don't know. Wish us luck. Nope. No mercies here. He definitely knows my name. I back there just went, ah, you want a beer? Oh, the answer to that. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. Hey guys. It wasn't him. It was this guy. We have to go tell him that we have a beer. How are you? You still have beer? Yeah. Oh, they have beer. He knows my name. <laughs> Put us back in the garden where no one can see us drinking the beer. Anyway, where would you like? Home. End the video somehow. Mm. What should I end it with? Something inspiring, something ponderous, something. I got nothing. 
We have had a very, very long day, and somehow the hours got away from us. Indeed. There's <laughs> no way we're going to workshop yeah. there. That was Nikki just said, we didn't get a lot of what we wanted to accomplish, but we did do a whole lot. We were the king and queen of tourism. We emptied our wallet today. Uh, yeah, Istanbul might be cheap. Not the way we did it today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a whole day of domestic bliss of buying pots and pans and going grocery shopping and maybe getting our hair done and our nails, maybe a massage. But for today, I'm going to finish up some dinner, finish up my not tea. We got two months here, two months in Turkey. It's going to be a wild ride, so can't do it all in one day. Be healthy, be happy, and we will see you soon.